The journey to catch the legendary Pokemon was always a really exciting aspect of the game. I would be training one of my Pokemon in the grass, and then all of a sudden this level 40 legendary Pokemon would just pop out at me, and I, I would get really excited and be like, all right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And so I would hit it with a tackle, and then it would run away. And I thought, am I ever going to catch this thing? So when I finally caught one, I was just ecstatic. I was so happy and it brought so much joy just to be able to catch one of them. I was very fascinated with the whole breeding aspect of the game. I don't know, I just really liked that idea of being able to breed the two Pokemon together and, and then you train it all the way up and you could really own that Pokemon that you breeded. I really liked the Steel and Dark type that was added to the game because I wasn't aware of that when I started playing and I saw these Pokemon and I was like, wait, what? I don't know what this is and like, it wasn't effective and I was like, I don't, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> the shiny Gyarados, that was really cool. I, I remember the first time I saw it, I thought I was really special <laughs> until I realized everyone got to get it. But still, it was still cool because it's like, no matter what, you have this shiny red Gyarados and then it like sparkled when it came out of the Pokeball. I really like that. I thought that was, made me feel special.